Hello and welcome to my uh, pitch for the script I wrote for Perimeter. This is the title design I created. Um, it has a rusted steel aesthetic as to make it look as though it's a, an aged bunker. Um, the, lo the overall summary of my series is about uh, nuclear bombs killing the majority of British population and a group of survivors who don't really get along must learn to coexist in a cramped bunker. To go into more detail, Baxter Cooper and his girlfriend Crimson Hales are in a tight, intimate relationship. Uh, this relationship has led to Crimson becoming pregnant. However, Crimson's father strongly disapproves of the relationship, and as a result, they must keep it secret, along with the upcoming baby. They plan to run away, however, um, the bombs drop on the day they were supposed to leave. As a result, they have to hustle into the bunker where everyone else is, along with the rest of the Cooper family, Crimson's father, and another neighbour. Uh, these group of people don't get along, and now must learn to set aside their disagreements to survive. The show is supposed to run for three weeks, with each episode uh, playing for 30 minutes. The launch date is set to be the 13th of September in 2019. I decided it should be uh, played in BBC One as it is a drama and at the time of 8 o'clock as to replace the current show EastEnders. This is due to EastEnders' current decline in popularity. There is less of an audience to see for it and I believe that Perimeter will gain back another audience due to its gripping drama. The target audience of Perimeter will be young adults ranging from ages 18 to 30 of the male gender. This is due to the plot being based on real-life politics, a subject adults tend to be interested in. This will allow them to relate to the topic at hand. On top of this, older audiences will be able to appreciate a more intense drama, along with the themes of war and violence that are present in the script. Moving on to the character list and suggested cast, we have Donna Cooper. Donna Cooper is the mother of Baxter and Annabelle and is married to Jordan Cooper. She feels rather detached from her family, seeing that Annabelle is constantly away on her technology, Baxter is constantly with his girlfriend, and her husband is away at work for most of the time, and when he is home, he is exhausted. This has led to Donna becoming a bit more dominant in her presence, so that she is noticed by her family, and with that comes respect. I decided that Andira and Verma should play the role. This is due to her fitting the characteristic rather well, as she looks the appropriate age for a mother and has acting experience in a variety of productions, including Little Britain, Game of Thrones, and Bones. Next is Baxter Cooper. Baxter is a 19-year-old college student. However, due to his struggles in education, he is close to being expelled. He would drop out now due to his frustrations. However, the only thing that keeps him there is to see Crimson, his girlfriend. I believe Baxter should be played by Keir Gilchrist. This is due to him playing multiple roles as a variety of characters, mostly consisting of young adults and teenagers. He has experience on set acting in films as it follows. Susan Hales is a quiet girl who gets anxious when she's alone. This is not aided by her relationship with her father, whom she finds detestable and wishes to spend as little time with him as possible. Instead, she'd rather spend time with her boyfriend Baxter. This is rather difficult, seeing that her father forbids her from seeing boys and is so protective over her. I believe the character would be played well by Maika Monroe. Maika looks the part of a young teenager and has played a role as a troubled and threatened character multiple times. She has also displayed talent in acting as her lover and would fit in this role. Next is Jordan Cooper. Working long hours every day, Jordan has always come home tired. He shares little conversation with his family as he is almost always sleeping. In an attempt to stay connected, he will sit with them and watch TV, but it doesn't take long before he crashes and is out for the rest of the night. Due to his disconnection, he is not aware of, his, of the issues his family individually deal with, and as a result, struggles to offer support. The cast member I selected was Daniel Reeves. While he isn't a big name actor, he is well experienced in a variety of acting roles, as shown as by his portfolio on Star Now. Richard Hales is the father of Crimson Hales. He was once happy with his wife and daughter, however, since the passing of his wife, he has become overly controlling over Crimson in an attempt to protect her. 
He has been in pain since the passing of his wife, and as a result of trying to numb the pain, he has boozed up sex whenever he can with his new wife. This means that he isn't as protective as he could be over his new uh, over his daughter. Uh, this character could be played by Vinnie Jones. This is due to him having a background and acting experience as a very specific role as a tough character. I believe he would be able to play a very threatening father, especially an alcoholic. Mrs. White is a very stuck-up woman, and she is the most stuck-up woman in the street. She is despised by most people around her. She is extremely proud of both herself and her family name, and she tries to push this pride onto her son, Timothy. She acts high and mighty, and whenever someone refers to her anything other than Mrs. White, she will get extremely offended. I believe she'd be played rather well by Michelle Fairley, as she fits the appearance of the character and has experience in professional acting roles for different products for drama. The final main character is Charles, the administrator. Charles is an ex-marine, and he fought for the British Army briefly. However, due to a leg injury and mild psychological trauma, he resigned. Still eager to serve his country in any way, he, just, he studied up and volunteered to become an administrator for the bomb shelters, where he was posted in Shelton. He is stern and knows his authority has power. However, he does not misuse his power. Due to his mild PTSD, the horrors he witnessed and his closest friend dying burn close to his mind, turning him into a shallow and distant character at times. I feel this character should be played by Idris Elba. This is due to him being very well experienced in a variety of roles, especially in drama. This is the plot outline. As you can see, it steadily increases in tension, where finally the bombs drop and everyone becomes solemn due to the loss in the other characters. The plot starts off tense as Crimson tells Baxter she's pregnant and he suggests they run away. After, Crimson goes home to spend time with her family. She is pressed by this tension and decides that she's going to agree to run away with her boyfriend. Meanwhile, Baxter is acting distant to his family, who are beginning to grow concerned. All the characters see the news of a possible nuclear bomb. However, the news bring hope and promise that it will never occur, and if it does, it will be in a long while. Shortly after, however, a broadcast is displayed, warning residents of a nuclear attack. The families panic and attempt to leave. Due to Richard's wife being out, she is unaware of the warning. He attempts to call her, however there is no answer. The plot both climaxes and dies down at the end. The Coopers make it to the bunker along with Crimson and Richard, who is quiet. Charles is there waiting for them to get safely inside. However, Mrs. White and her son are not long behind. Her son becomes distracted and is left behind as Charles pulls the mother inside and shuts the door just as the bombs explode in the distance. And we watch the child become engulfed in flames. The locations of filming are as follows. Royal Wooden Bassett, Lydia Park and a London nuclear bunker shelter. Royal Wooden Bassett would be suitable for neighbourhood shots and interior shots. Lydia Park would also be suitable for exterior shots, however this would be for the bunker. The bunker doesn't need to be built inside Lydia Park as we can just get a small prop as to act as a shed and we can act as though the bunker leads down into the ground. The final location will be a nuclear bunker shelter in London. This is not a real nuclear bunker shelter, however this is the name of a paintballing map. The map is available for filming and photography. This is a sample of the script. In this short sample, it is made obvious that Crimson is not comfortable for an unknown reason, which she later exposes to be her pregnancy. It is established about how controlling her father is due to his spam on her texts. This adds to Crimson's pressure. On screen now is the production schedule. We will have eight days to film all the scenes. This is possible as the scenes will be short and snappy and the overall episode will only last 30 minutes. I have allocated three days for reshooting in case of any scenes have gone wrong. This will leave six days for the final edit of the episode. This is the proposed budget. This includes funds for the director, producer, cast, crew, equipment and additional costs. 
The additional costs may look large, however this all includes petty cash, catering, minibus hire, a driver and hotel rooms for cast and crew to sleep in. There are a number of legal and ethical issues that need to be addressed before producing this series. Copyright. To avoid copyright, it is important to ensure that all copyrighted materials on set, such as brands, on clothing and food products, are not present on screen. If any form of copyright material, this includes logos and music, licensing must first be attained by the rightful owners. Second is health and safety. Before conducting work, ensure all points in the risk assessment are followed as to reduce the risk of present hazards. Third is the right of the employers. It is important to treat all employers resp respectfully. On top of that, employers must have the right to work in a clean place with time for breaks and lunch. Finally are the complications with working with children. Working children under the age of 18 are required to have a guardian with them at all times. The children in the cast are able to be at site 9.5 hours in a day, with a maximum of 2.5 hours continuously working. Children are required to have a 45 minute meal break and at least one 15 minute break every day. On top of this, children must have three hours out of work for education per day. Thank you for listening to my pitch and for considering my idea. I believe it will be both of profit and great enjoyment from the audiences.